Hey guys, welcome back. It's Coco DIYs bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, we are going over how to make a hot air balloon for a baby shower. Our colors today are Robin Eggs Blue, Red, and White. We're gonna go, most importantly, we're gonna go over how to um, connect your balloons to your extra large um, balloon that is the center and then we're gonna go over how to connect your hot air balloon to the basket. This tutorial was actually a suggestion from uh, a viewer of one of my previous videos. So if you guys um, have any DIY ideas or event decor um, inspirations that you want me to try, check out, test out, um, I'm more than happy to do that on my channel. So um, thank you for the person that suggested this theme and um, let's get into it. Okay, so once you have two of the Two of the four. <laughs> Hold on. I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay. So once you have these two these two lines, um, these two tied on, um, you wanna just secure them together. So what I did was take a a 260 like this, cut off the tip, I stretched it out like we've been doing, but I want to create some friction here at the top since there is no um, there is no balloon neck on this side. So I'm going to create that friction by um, tying the this balloon this way and then tying another balloon this way just to create some friction. So looping that under and then tying it like that. And then that friction will keep it secure. And so we're just gonna add balloons onto these four points and then secure them at the neck. So we'll continue that and then I'll show you guys how to add the five inch balloons. So as you guys add on the balloons, um, you're going to slip the balloons under each, slip, slip your pair of balloons or your dupes under each um, strand of the 260. So um, I'm trying to make a pattern of blue, white, and red, but I'm not really able to, um, as the balloons get closer together. Um, you'll see that it's going to be a little more difficult to keep that pattern, but I am trying to make it um, uniform as far as um, the colors go. And then once I have all the um, seven inch balloons on, I'm going to next um, add on the smaller balloons just to fill in the gaps. Um, I'm going to add on the seven inch balloon, or after I add on the seven inch balloons, I'm going to add on the five inch balloons just to fill in the gaps. So this is all the balloons as we have it now. Um, like I said, it's in a blue, white and red pattern. And then as you can see, there are some gaps here. So all these little gaps, I'm gonna fill in with um, dupes and uh, dupes, triplets, quads, whatever I need, uh, whatever size five inch balloons that I need or whatever grouping of five inch balloons that I need to fill in the gaps. Um, I'm just going to make those groupings as, as needed and try and match them with the colors 
that you guys see. So then it'll still keep the color scheme, but um, we won't lose any of the shape. So next what I'm gonna do is take one of these 260s, right, stretch it out. And then we're gonna cut the 260 in half. So similar to what you would do with the garland, um, you're gonna tie your dupe onto one, one end. And then stretch that out, make sure all the air is out of there. And you're gonna tie your second set onto the other end. Now I, second set onto the other end okay so now you have this right a little dumbbell I like to call it a dumbbell dumbbell of five inch so with that dumbbell what we're gonna do um, what we're gonna do is similar to what you would do with a garland you're um, going to get match the colors and then basically find two holes that this will snuggle into. And so you have one set, let me see if I can show you. One set right there and then one set right here. So we're gonna do that to fill in a lot of these um, bigger gaps. We'll either do dupes or we'll do quads. So if this was a small gap, but then this area right here is a little bigger. So for this, I'll probably do a quad of white or blue and then have um, maybe like a dupe of white right here. Okay, so now we are going to... Mm, hold on guys, hold on. You know, I'm gonna... You know I gotta get that silver streak. <laughs> anyway, um, so now, this up closer. so now we're going to um, connect our holes to our basket. So I'm gonna run through this um, quickly. I don't want to spend too much time on um, the different ways you guys can um, basically color match this to your theme. Um, um, what I would do if I was doing this and it needed to be outside, is I would probably use PVC pipe and then cut it down to two and a half feet um, and put those in, like maybe like a one inch PVC pipe. But for right now, I'm just trying to use what I have to show you guys what to do. So um, I have my clear zip ties in each corner um, and I looped it through, in through this way and out through this way so that way um, any excess wouldn't be shown on the outside. And then I'm going to, what you can do is if your, um, if your basket is really deep like this, I think this is like 13 inches, and this is from Target. Um, I think this is 13 inches or 14 inches, so you might wanna um, fill it up with boxes. So what I, even with Easter baskets or anything like that, um, I always fill it up with like some kind of cardboard, especially if you're doing this if you're gonna use this hot air balloon outside, um, I would fill up some cardboard boxes with like rocks or sand or something. So you can um, give it a little more height, give it a little more um, depth, okay? And then we're going to take one of our pipe, our poles. Now these poles are from a um, balloon stand set that I bought. And if you watched my previous video, you know what I use that for, but, um, um, and you're just gonna take the pole and take it through one of the loops. So let me see, let me show you guys a little better. So you're gonna push that, the loop all the way in, the zip tie all the way in, but you're gonna take your pole and get it as close to, if you have cardboard inside as possible, and then you're going to zip your tie 
um, as tight as possible. Okay, and then any excess will be, um, any excess can be cut off if you need it to. And another thing I would do is if you are, um, if you're not doing this flush all the way to the bottom and you're having the, um, the zip ties be your only anchor, then I would um, use hot glue so it doesn't really move. Cause what, cause if you are having your event outside, what you don't want is your whole basket to tip over, fly away, etc. Before you put your balloon on, you want to cover the ends of your poles with the balloon because you don't want um, you don't want well you want friction of the rubber on rubber, but you don't want the plastic pole to hurt your balloons. Okay, so um, as you can see, my balloon, my hot air balloon is very, very oversized for this project. Um, I think that's the number one problem that I had with this is I didn't realize, I think if, I don't know, I don't even know what to say. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not, not, not happy with it. I'm really like, oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. I'm not happy with this. I'm really not. Um, I guess, you know, I'm just going to close it out this way because I really, I really did not like this project. Um, it was a challenge, so... Um, someone gave me this project to do, so thank you for the challenge. Um, and it really was challenging. So, um, you know, I, I believe in transparency and, you know, admitting my faults. And I really feel like this project, um, yeah, yeah, it, it beat me down. Um, not only just trying to figure out how to get the balloons to stay in place because I had a lot of movement and I thought the one, I thought um, connecting the five inch together, um, you know, and getting those vertical lines to cinch together would help, but it was just basically doing like this with all my balloons. So everything, every time I did it, it would move something on the other side. And then every time I did it again on a different area, it would move something on another side. And so I just really got frustrated and I started to run out of balloons. So then I got more frustrated. Um, so I'm waiting for more balloons to come. I think what I'll do is kind of make this like a two, like, <laughs> like a mistakes video. Um, make this a mistakes video um, and do another travel theme video because I like the, I like the theme. I just, you know, don't like the outcome, you know? And when you're doing projects like this, um, thankfully it was an experiment. It wasn't like a, something that I had to do for a client. So I was able to experiment and I can honestly say if a client orders a um, hot air balloon, uh, balloon prop, I will not be doing that because um, it's very time consuming. It's very like, even all the, all the um, tutorials and other over uh, other videos that I watched, I tried to do it that way. It wasn't working, so I don't. I mean, if you guys can, you know, link um, in the description or link in the comments, like maybe videos that I could take notes from, because um, I really, other than making like a like a more solid structure in the middle, I don't see how you can use the balloon as the centerpiece. And I think that's the problem is that the the balloon is the centerpiece so there's no real anchor points on it because it's such a smooth surface, right? Um, so I think, you know, that's probably the biggest lesson learned in this video. 
um let me know what you guys think um i'm gonna um do some more key numbers just in time for graduation and um in my next video and then hopefully maybe have another travel themed video um or maybe like one of those floating teddy bears like i was trying to use that same concept but um clearly making those topiaries with the floating teddy bears um it's a little different so that part um so yeah so uh as always like subscribe stay crafty and i'll see you guys next time